A new resource called Life Camp has just opened in Deer District. It's aimed at helping people develop their mental fitness. Our Cassandra McShepard is there with the company's co-founder to give us a look at everything they have to offer. And I cannot imagine you, Cassandra, amplified any more than your baseline because you are you are amped to begin with. Am I am Steve, will you please write that down so I can get some money for it? I'm sure I could. I am here at Life Camp with the co-founder, Rosario Sanchez Ledesma. Beautiful. Whoa, I got it right. I was practicing. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations on this amazing venture. And from my conversation with you earlier, this is about getting people prepared to get to work. Everybody's suffering from uh, finding good employees these days. Yeah, well, you know what this is. When the pandemic hit, people hit the pandemic wall, the fatigue came in. We are about teaching mental fitness. So it's about readiness, getting people ready to navigate life's challenges with a positive mindset and then getting ready to be more productive in the workplace. That is so incredibly important. So tell me, how do you go about that? What kind of break down Life Camp for me? Absolutely. So Life Camp is a talent development firm. We offer coaching, consulting, and professional development. So we have premier workshops, we have team building. And what it means for our, our viewership is that if you want to build cohesion and communication with your leaders or with your teams, you can call us. And we're seeing video now. You had a ribbon cutting today for the grand opening. Tell us about that. Yes, it was so exciting. Our advisory committee was here. We had over 100 people come through and see the building, and we're just really excited. And tell me, what did this building used to be? Yeah, it was the old Brink Security Building. Did you find any money in there when you... <laughs> You know what? It's kind of neat that the vaults are still here. We demoed one vault, uh, and the richness of that legacy is what will endure here at a different level. Absolutely. And I see that certainly the community has come out to support you. So yeah. how do you feel? Is this like a dream come true for you? It is, Cassandra. It is a dream come true. We wanted to do something positive in Milwaukee by building Milwaukee up by way of its people taking a stand for leadership principles and practicing them, helping people come back and reconnect with their essence. It makes me very proud and very happy. And you should be. All right, Steve, I'm going to get it back to you right now. So if we were going to go into the gym and do a mental workout, question is, what would that be? We'll talk about that later. Stay tuned, though, you guys, because it's always fun to do something you shouldn't do. Later in the show, we're going to take a ride on the wild side. That's a bike ride in the Milwaukee County Zoo that's coming up this Sunday. This Sunday, you have a rare opportunity to take a ride on the wild side. This fundraising event sponsored by the Zoological Society gives you an opportunity to support the zoo while riding your bike. Let's go. So Ride on the Wild Side is the one time a year people can come and ride their bikes inside the Milwaukee County Zoo. So it's a, it's a great event for people of all ages. Just gotta bring your bike, bring a helmet, and, and get ready to have fun. We have a 2.5 mile kids route. We have a 10, 17, and 27 mile ride. All the rides start and end in the zoo. Let's go and check out the giraffes. It is okay to, to stop. It's, it is. It's not a race. The clock is not ticking. It's not, I mean, some kids treat it like a race, which I think is adorable. They, they're racing their brothers or sisters and trying to see how many laps they can take. But I also see a lot of families pull over, take advantage of the situation, stop, watch the giraffes, watch the other animals, then get back on the bike and keep going. So right now we're going behind Adventure Africa. Again, it's usually closed to the public. What I love about the zoo too is the forestry. And it's just a really peaceful place back here. So it, it feels good to ride your bike back here, somewhere you usually don't get to go, see animals, enjoy, enjoy the outside. And so I like the fact that this Ride on the Wild Side event is so family friendly all the way around. Tricycles and bicycles. Fa family friendly and all skill levels too. I wanna reiterate that. You know, some people get afraid like, ooh, I'm not so good on the bike. That's okay, that's okay. Do the two and a half mile ride, take your time and enjoy it. But we just want the whole family to come out. Oh, peacock crossing. <laughs> Oh, 
penguins will be the last animal stop. And again, when can people experience this? You can register day of, and it is September 11th. Don't the Packers play on that day? They do, but not until three. So you can do ride on the wild side, enjoy a day at the zoo, get home in plenty of time to catch the Packers. And in Cassandra, if you do it right, <laughs> you can bike right underneath a giraffe, right? I, uh, if you do it wrong, actually, okay. you shouldn't be well, doing that. Don't, right. don't give anybody an idea, Steve. I know what kind of kid you were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was the one always being <laughs> pulled back. The just troublemaker. A bit. I, just, that's <laughs> why we get him. along, you and me. <laughs> that's true. Wait a minute. I don't make trouble. I just am trouble. Oh. It's Friday. Don't believe anything I say. It's Friday. Like, like I said, you're <laughs> amped at your baseline, Gassan McShepard. Thank you. If you